everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, I'm out here trying something new, something I have never done before, but I have wondered about. Now, I imagine that most of you guys are familiar with the traditional flint and steel fires, where you use a uh, <clears throat> steel striker and a piece of uh, some type of a flint. This happens to be red and yellow jasper from uh, right here in the Ochoco Mountains, uh, with a piece of char cloth up on top of your stone and getting sparks and from there placing the char cloth in a tinder bundle and getting fire. Well I started wondering if it would be possible to rather than using a tinder bundle but to actually get a fire started using flint and steel with fine shavings. So I've actually been sitting here with a piece of fat wood making a small pile, actually two small piles, of just little fine shavings and curls. Just sitting here, uh, you know, working it for a while now, little to get as fine a shavings and curls as I could from this piece of fat wood. And I've made two piles. So my idea here is to ignite my piece of char cloth, lay it on top of one of the piles of shavings, take the second pile of shavings, which is in my, in my glove here, and put those on top. Now, the obvious answer, people would say, well, no, because when you start blowing, you're gonna blow everything away. So I thought, okay, what, I put that in there, put my shavings in, then what if I take a piece of bark and use the bark on top to hold just you know enough pressure to keep anything from blowing away, and then come down here and blow my char cloth. Well, I've never done this before. I've never seen it done before. Perhaps someone out there has done it, but I've never seen it. Uh, but I just have a suspicion that it's gonna work. So I came out here today to try it. And it's a clo uh, cold, cloudy day, a uh, little bit of rain in the air. So it's a day that I need to get a fire. So I'm gonna try this out, guys. And uh, we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. All right, so first thing I wanna do is get my tar cloth ignited. And I'm also getting periodic gusts of wind, so I've been kinda of fighting that too. All right, I'm gonna turn this the other way here. Get some on the edge. There we go. Okay, got my char cloth burning. So I'm gonna set that right in here, in the middle of all those shavings. And then I'm gonna lay my second pile of shavings on top of the char cloth. Now, if this works, we'll have fire. So this is gonna be the tricky part. I'm gonna try to hold just enough pressure where I don't blow anything away. And I'm going to do this sideways so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Almost. <sighs> Not quite getting it, guys. It is definitely a little bit harder than I thought. I kind of thought these curls would, uh, would go right up but I still got quite a bunch of char cloth there, so I'm gonna keep working at it. See if I can't, uh, if I can't make this work.
There we go. Aha! It worked. It took, you know, you guys seen it, it took some effort, but it worked. Uh, you can actually get flint and steel with shavings. And uh, like I said, I had never seen this done. I have never heard of anyone doing it. Um, I've always done my flint and steels the traditional way with some kind of a tinder bundle, whether it be, you know, dried grasses, uh, sagebrush bark, juniper bark, um, different plant materials. And I've always done shavings with a ferro rod. So as I said, I was just wondering, is it possible using a flint and steel with wood shavings to get a fire going? There, the wind just came on and blew it out, but I did have flame. I did have fire. You guys saw it. If I would have uh, wanted to keep this going, I would have had more material sitting right here and uh, uh, started building it up and blowing it in. But yes, it is possible. You can get fire uh, using wood shavings with a flint and steel. Nice. Thanks guys again for watching Ochoco Bushcraft. And if you like what I'm doing on the videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks guys.